What's happening guys? We are back for another Quick Tip Tuesday here. This past weekend was 4th of July here in the USA. But if you celebrate the 4th, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys had a good time, saw some fireworks, did some fun things, had a barbecue maybe. But today we are talking about background music some more. So last week we talked about how to set your levels for your background music, which is super important because you don't want it to be too loud, right? Link above here, go check out that video if you didn't check it out yet, because that's the first step, set your levels. Today we're gonna talk about how you can use just a little bit of EQ to help that background music sound even sweeter and not make your voice sound muddy. So let's jump over into Resolve. Oh, real quick, actually, before we do, if you don't care about seeing the example, here's the tip right here, one to 2K. That's where you're gonna wanna reduce your EQ a little bit. But if you wanna see how it works, why, and the difference in the sound that it will make, let's jump into Resolve and check this out. All right, as always, I'm grabbing me some headphones, studio monitor headphones, because it just makes it sound better. So, throw these guys on here. So I'm using the same example as what we had from last week, but I am changing the song. You're gonna wanna come into Resolve, and we're gonna wanna open an EQ. now. You can either do the EQ right here in the edit tab by selecting your clip, coming up to your inspector right here, and you have your equalizer right here. So you can open that and go ahead and turn it on. And if you just wanna do this to one or two clips or something, this is probably the best way to do it. So like I mentioned, where we wanna drop down the EQ, reduce it a little bit, is around that one to two K range. Now, why is that? That is because when we record our voice, the majority of a human's voice falls in that one to 2K range. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but it's gonna be in that range. So if we reduce the frequencies for our music track, in that range, it's gonna help our vocals and speaking tracks just sound a little bit better. Let's check this out. So if I just play through this song here, um, this is just regular levels set to, you know, minus 10 dB. We're gonna get to it behind the video clip in a second here, but I want you to hear the difference here. Here is what it sounds like, just as is. Let's come into our EQ and we're gonna drop down that one to 2K range. So again, your equalizer's right here. So we don't need band one and uh, band four or band two on this one. So we're just gonna go band three. And if we're doing this in the edit tab, here's how I change it. I would use this guy right here. And you can just come up here and just grab it. And I wanna come into this one to 2000 range, which is gonna be right in here somewhere, right? So I'm just gonna drop that down like that. Now, how much? Depends on your music. You gotta play with it, see what you think works best. I would start with a minimum of minus five dB. You can bring it down a little more, a little less. Depends on what you think sounds good for your particular clip. So let's just say I dropped this down a lot. I really want to notice the difference. I'm at minus 12 dB. Now let's play through that beginning part again and see what it sounds like. Okay, you should be able to hear the difference. Let's just play it before and after. Here's no EQ, and then I'm going to apply it in a second after we start playing. You can hear it kind of got dulled down a little bit, right? So that's the basics of how you could do it right here in the edit tab using the inspector. For me, love me some Fairlight. So I'm going to jump into Fairlight, but when you're in Fairlight, it is going to apply it to the entire track. So keep that in mind. Maybe you want to just keep your background music in its own track. I think that's a good idea anyway. Jump into Fairlight. If you don't know how to get to Fairlight, click on the little musical notes down here. And actually, before I do that, I'm just going to turn off the EQ here for this clip in uh, my inspector here. So hit the musical notes, jump into Fairlight, make these guys a little bigger so we can see what's going on here. Now in Fairlight, like I said, we can come to our audio track two, which is my background music. I've got my mixer open, right? So if you don't see your mixer, it's this guy right here and track two right here. So I'm gonna double click on my EQ, open this up. Now, the reason I love the EQ here in Fairlight is it's just a little more robust. I mean, it accomplishes the same thing, but you've got more points to work with. Um, you've got, it's just a bigger screen to look at it in and you can see your frequencies a little bit better. So I like it better in Fairlight. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off uh, all these bands except for band four. You don't have to use band four. That's what I like to use. Looking at the type of EQ, you want to use this guy right here, which is what's already selected. And now you can see we've got a much better idea of where our one to two K range is. And you can see I've already dropped it down here. Now you may want to go a little towards two K. You might want to go a little towards 1K a little bit more. Kind of depends on where your particular voice is in your clips, right? But if you go in the middle, it should be a good general point to start with. Now you can use your gain to drag it down a little more exact if you don't want to just, you know, hover on and hold the, the point and move it. And the Q factor here, this is important because when you crank this guy up, you can see it just does a very narrow frequency. Well, we want 
something a little bit wider than that so it covers the entire voice that we're putting this music track under, right? And like I said, the voice is generally in that one to 2K range. So keep that in mind, that's important. So I'm gonna open up the range that's getting affected here by reducing my Q factor. Now you could go as much as you want. I'm just gonna go something like that looks good. All right, so now let's play through our clip with me talking. You can see how it sounds. First, I'm gonna turn off the EQ. You're gonna see how it sounds. And then I'm gonna turn it on, see if you can hear the difference and see if you can hear me a little bit clearer when I turn that EQ on. So pulled out the viewer here so you can see a little better. Let's play through and here we go. So we're gonna take this clip right here. We're gonna throw some music behind it, a little background music. But let me just take a minute to tell you about Buy Me A Coffee. If you enjoy this channel, you wanna help support the channel, maybe head on over, buy me a coffee. Love me some good coffee. Also, if you're interested in merch, got a little merch there down below the video off. here. We've got some mugs, we've got sweatshirts, we've got t-shirts. So if you... All right, so can you guys hear that? Did you hear the difference when I turned on that EQ? It just kind of muffled that background music a little bit more, so that way you could hear me speaking much clearer. So what do you think? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Comment and let me know. If you want to learn a little bit more about EQ, got a full crash course up over here. You can check that out. Want to see what YouTube thinks is the best video for you? Check it out down there and uh, throw some more videos down here on audio stuff because audio is huge when it comes to your video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.